It's okay. That's live. Hi, guys. Our live bumped off. I don't know why, but we're back. We're back. And Taz was just sharing. Um, we were talking about uh, being accountable, and, and Taz was sharing about how, you know, uh, normal people can hide, but if you got distinct markings on you, you probably can't hide very well. Distinct markings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, yeah, that's it. It's... It's a good thing though. It's for me. It is. I, yeah. I need as much accountability as it's not easy. It's you know, like I thought being a Christian when you were weak or this. Or, it's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Anybody could be a knucklehead and go out and be stupid and just follow the protocol of being stupid. You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah. taking care, you know, it's hard. I mean, it's it's. But the reward is eternal. Exactly. It's an eternal reward. Nothing yeah. in this world gives you eternal reward. Nothing. Yeah. And once you figure that out, then it makes it like, you know, and then God guides you through the Holy Spirit. He guides you through life, you know. Yeah. Am I perfect? No. Does God want me to be perfect? No. Right. But, that, you yeah. know, that's what we do one day at a time. We do this, we do that, we do anything to glorify God, you know. Yeah. We all, we all have issues. Isn't that, that's, yeah. that's not going to go away. Yes. Yeah. We're, all, we're all trying to live this human life. Right. Um, and we don't know what's gonna what, what's around the corner. There's surprises. There's you know hiccups. There's all kinds of things that happen yeah. around the corner. But we also know that there's a supernatural, also there's yeah. a supernatural um, that one. world out there. And um, and when you are making an impact in this world, probably as big as an impact as as any pastor you would make, there's assaults as well. That's not that's not. Yeah, I'm just trying to make my little niche, like my little, yeah. whatever my, whatever God put in front of my, like whatever he's allowing me to do, like that's what I'm going to do. And then this year, my dedication to myself is to uh, do more of what God has, you know, to stay in his path, but like branch it out, you know, like this, mm -hmm. other things, you know, like whatever I can do. Yeah. So you're, you, now you have Foundation Church and you're the, you're the lead pastor there and there's a team of pastors. I, I, a couple of us, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And what is what is the vision for Foundation Church? You 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 wanna? Is there That's a good like question. a? Are are you guys just kind of wanting to? You I know of course you you're wanting to win souls. That that would be probably the first priority. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you know, like the one of the reasons we started it was because like. Um, so as as I'm going into the rock and and. and I bring, I'm inviting my friends who are not safe, so mm -hmm. they're coming drunk, they're coming on drugs, they're screaming, they're F-bombing, they're like, you know, every, probably all the stuff that I did, why well, I didn't do drugs and all that, but they're coming in messed up, they're falling asleep, you know, one guy was drunk, another guy was doing heroin in the parking lot, came in for mm -hmm. just some, but, you know, like, but mm -hmm. that's the last stop for people, mm -hmm. and so I would see, like, certain people... It's not the rock's fault, but I would see certain people like frowning on them, like, oh, my tattoo guys, well, you must be with these guys. Mm. So we had our little niche, so, like, some of the usher greeters were like, oh, you know, you know, oh, you know, weirdos. And, well, weirdos, work. what's, this is our last, it's either death or prison, like, or yeah. like insanity or homelessness. Yeah. And the church is a place for sick people to go. Yeah. And so when you get healthier, you cannot look over and be like, oh. Mm -hmm. Because then you're forgetting how you were. So we, we kind of branched off to do a midweek service yeah. um, to, like, accept everybody. Yeah. And even if you were a little bit tilted off, you know, like a little, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. you might have a teardrop or tattoos, your face or just your whatever, your background. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, yeah, maybe just a smaller venue, you know. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good, you know. So... But yeah, the the main purpose of every church is to win souls and disciple and mount and reach people. Yeah. You know, Do you see yourself like branching out into maybe um, sending out people? Hopefully that's what our yeah. church is doing, you know, like hopefully that's what mm -hmm. we're doing. Um, but it's hard, you know, like it's not easy. Like you have to pray for your pastors, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. Like it's it, and even for, you know, mm -hmm. the stuff that you do, like mm -hmm. setting up and coming here and waiting and the, the videos and mm -hmm. it's not easy and, and it's probably easy for people to just go you know what uh, I don't need to I'll stay home I don't yeah. watch the football game yeah and I would say I'm not I mean a large portion of the church is that they go they attend once in a while and they go home mm -hmm. 
I'm not that guy, you know. Like, I'm if I'm doing it, I'm all out. Like, you want to be like, out. let's you go. Tell. I mean, that that it, it shows yeah. that you're an all out guy. I try to be. I'm not. You know, I mean, that I want. Yeah. I, you make a decision, and this is what go. you yeah. are. We want tattoos. Well. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And and this is this is what um, this is what I see. And, and I've, I've been ministering for a very long time. You know, I was in England for 14 years as a senior pastor of a church. And then, you know, before that, all the years of, of ministry that, that I did before that. But um, in doing that, what happens is that, see, I'm way over there in England. And, and yes, I was a part of, you know, ministering to uh, some of the mafia members, the Cray twin gangs. You guys, if you're from London, I know Cray twins. The East End, and yeah. uh, the well, some of these guys were getting out of prison. It's been a real long time, and so in about it was about 1996, and they were now coming out of prison. Some of these guys, and they're now older, like in their 70s and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Try. They're now reformed. Uh, looking for churches, and um, some were going to, I think, Assemblies of God and stuff like I that. I hope they are. We, we met some of them, and um, and boy, the stories that they were telling, yeah. um, and some of the wives were telling were crazy. It's um, no joke. But I had been now saved for a long time, and I'm, I was now out of touch with all the roughness, and I grew up in all the roughness. I'm telling you, I grew up, it, my dad was a biker, and it was, it was not a... Uh, he was not the, he was not a Christian biker. He was a biker biker, like, you know, the Hell's Angels. Was He wasn't a Hell's Angel, though. Yeah, verify that. <laughs> he was not. <laughs> there were no problems. No. Um, so, so, so we, you know, I had lost touch. You, when you get saved for some time, yeah. you kind of lose touch with all of that, you know? Yeah. You no, know I, very, yeah, sure. So I don't, I don't ever want to, like, Put myself in like we only deal with the misfits. I deal with anybody: attorney, yes. lawyer, doctor, yes, millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire, homeless guy. We have like all kinds come into our church. Yeah, cops, attorney, whatever. Yeah. yeah, the church is for everybody. Yes, and what we do, we've been doing. And I said a sermon last week about mm -hmm. my race, my uh, economic status, my uh, yeah. tattooed people only. AA people only, recovery people only. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. I mean, you can relate, but the the real church is open to all. Everybody. It should be, and the yeah. mixture kind of flows together yeah. and it blends. You know, that's the yeah. only place that yeah. we can get together with such differences is the church. Yes. Or you know, yeah. maybe a football game, but you're only getting sixty thousand. Yeah. You know. So so what that says about you is that you've been through a whole lot of healing. In what you believe and what you think and 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 what you do today, because if the way that you interact with with lawyers and doctors or whoever you know all of that, yeah. and I know that you do, um, and and then with you know uh, people coming in from AA and you know they're coming off yeah. drugs. Yeah, and, you got to be to be um, a Christian. You have to be, and in ministry, you got to be versatile. Mm -hmm. You got to be at Walmart and talk. You got to be able to this <laughs> traffic light, the Seven yeah. Eleven. Hey, boom, boom. You, you got to be, you know. And, and yeah. if you stumble and you're missing opportunities, yeah. The Bible tells us to seek opportunities to witness, seek opportunities to do good. Yeah, seek opportunities. And when I was yeah. seeker, I was seeking all the wrong things: seeking girls, mm -hmm. seeking drugs, and drinking. Mm -hmm. You know, all the stuff that the world tries to tell you to get at. Yeah. You know. And uh, matter of fact, I had a girl at our church um, tell me. Um, she said that, I won't say her name, but she said that, oh, something about that life that I, I just feel like I'm missing out. I'm like, I can assure you, you're not missing out on anything. Mm -hmm. It's a dangling carrot, mm -hmm. but once you bite it, you go off a cliff, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, I get it, it's, it's enticing, it's nightlife, it's party, it's flashy, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, but, you know yeah. It's all a facade. Yeah. And I bit into the facade. Yeah. I know. Halfway <laughs> you don't know that I, yeah, know, but yeah. I know. We know. Let's say I we met, know. I met people. No, like like I met people that knew you before you were saved. Oh my God! All right, we're gonna cut the tape. <laughs> and they said off. there was a it was a girl. She came to my oh, Bible no. study and she's oh, like oh, she's like I go we're gonna go to the Foundation Church. All right, that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say anything bad, but uh, I wouldn't put you on the spot like that. But um, no, she she says she says. She says, say the name again? Who Who's the pastor? I go, Jeffrey Taz Tenzel. <laughs> she goes, 
She goes, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, why? She goes, oh my God, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. <laughs> goes, no, I'm goes, scared. <laughs> she's like, oh, That's your limitations. Go. She's like, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. And I go, no, why? And she goes, oh no. She goes, he, he he's are you sure he's saved? <laughs> I said, yeah, I think so. He's a pastor now. I should carry like a bag. Like a <laughs> Christian bag. Nah, I'm good. I'm good though. No, but um, then she was like, oh my gosh, that's really good. And then she was like, if he's saved, that's a miracle. Like she well, was, so That's a good thing to hear. Yeah, so she was really like and stressing the fact you don't understand. This, yeah. this is a no, God. That, 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 that's yeah. a, when I hear that, 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 you can tell me all that. And then if you end with that, I'll, t- I'll, yeah. I'll gladly accept it. I can't deny that whatever. Yeah. I mean, we all none, have none a None of us can't. None of, yeah, we all yeah, have a past, you know, so But to end it like that. <laughs> and matter of fact, the people that we're bringing in, you, you, that guy's going with you? Or I'll put him on Facebook picture. She so and so is going to church, mm. of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, and so yeah, it's a real deal, you know. And uh, the devil's doing a lot. Nobody likes to get punked, you know. It's a street thing. Don't get punked. Mm-hmm. You're getting punked by the devil. Mm-hmm. You're falling around yeah. the, like a pied piper. Oh, duh, duh, you know. Yeah. And sometimes it's real drastic, and sometimes it's real subtle. Oh, just don't go. Just uh, just have one drink, smoke a little weed, do this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Some some people are like. You know, real easy, and some people it's like, <laughs> yeah. you know. Is there are people in prison that did one bizarre thing and yeah. ruined their life, and yeah. then other people have led a life of crime, you know, like. Yeah, you know, but, yeah. But, you know, but we, we, we're versatile. Exactly. Resilient, versatile, yeah. So um, here's another thing that I was wanting to, um, to talk to you about as well is, um, you know, you we've talked about some of your um, some of your celebrity status stuff. <laughs> we talked about your football days. Um, you know, we we talked a little bit about that stuff, and um, we talked about some of your um, church you know things. And um, you have children as well. I got a daughter. Uh, she's in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, she's going to she's going to be a physician assistant. And then my son lives with me, and the girlfriend, and my, and my granddaughter, she's like 16 months, but Aww. baby L, yeah, she's mm-hmm. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I met her, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, and I have a, another brother, two brothers here, one mm-hmm. brother in Florida, and my mom is in New York. Okay. So kind of, but I grew up, like, my family, like, we were like, you know, we were, we were dysfunctional, but we were like, we made it happen, you know, like. Yeah. Three, four boys, my mom and my dad, you know, middle class. We, mm-hmm. As, Jacked up as we were, we made it happen, and we yeah. were at the end of the day we were family. Yeah, <laughs> we were kind of creaster, raised Catholic. You know, you go to you know when you go to Catholic church, you get pinched and smacked. Mm-hmm. Sit down, shut up. Yep, I know. <laughs> but, you know, um, that's that's where the background in that. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. There's, you yeah, know, you, you. But as much as I tell you, mm-hmm. I meet people. And my story's like a scrub, like. Mm-hmm. I can't, I mean, it's like, you know what I mean? They're like, oh, I'm like, yeah. you know, I, I get overwhelmed, you know, like, it's like, how are you even like waking up in the morning? Like, it's so hard. It must be, you know? Yeah, I know. But God is good like that. Well, and, you know, uh, we, we can't, a lot of it we can't comprehend. We can't comprehend how we can be blowing. forgiven. Uh, you know, especially especially some that have really caused a lot of damage. <laughs> but you know. And for the record, women are tougher than men. Men are stronger, like oh, you know. But <laughs> women, just seeing my mom and just dealing with the women in the church, they say they're going to be there. They show up. They do that. They're, they're always helping. They're all you know, like they're at the core, like of the church. You know, yeah. men are supposed to be spiritual leaders. Men are supposed to worship with their hands up, like. Mm. But you know, it's it's a dysfunctional world, and every. So men are being softened. Yeah. Women are like being more, you know, it's, it's the whole thing is just getting twisted. And we, we don't even know, like a man, you know, like, am I a man? Like, that's mm-hmm. the culture that where it's twisting everything around. Yeah. And I keep hearing people say, oh, things are going to get better. No, it's not going to get better. better. It's going to get way worse. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. until G- the return of Jesus, things are going to get way worse. What you see on the news yeah. in two months, mind blowing. Mm-hmm. I heard something on the news this woman was in a coma, some mm-hmm. guy raped her, and she had, 
but we also live in a society that abortion is legal. Like it, it's, it's, it goes on and on, but the crimes are just, yeah. you know, my day of ba bad crime was a bank robber. I was like, oh, bank robber? Mm -hmm. Now it's just bizarre. Yeah, I know. I I'm know. actually normal in this world. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, really, you know? I'm telling you, you know, people trip on me until they know me. And they're, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah. I'm just like everybody. I do everything just like you. I just got a weird paint job. <laughs> Well, we're glad that you're you're you know where you're safe now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're glad. Um, and so you got Foundation Church, and you have somebody coming to visit your church. Oh man! And I somewhere. hate that I have to miss it. I'm so I, disappointed. I, I'm thinking God's going to work in your life to rearrange it. I don't know, but yeah, we got um, Chris Cyborg mm -hmm. coming. UFC. Now I it's confusing. She. Held the title, so she technically is the champ or was the champ at one time. Mm -hmm. Currently, right now, she's not the current champ, but she mm -hmm. was the champ. So mm -hmm. to me, she's the champ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not only that, she's handling this loss very well. And she's coming to our church the, this Thursday, the 17th, mm -hmm. from 6 to 8. She's going to give her testimony, and it's about overcoming and life outside the ring, and life goes on, and you know, in 10 years, she's not even going to be fighting, or maybe five years, or might even, she might even quit today. Yeah. But she has a relationship with God, and she has an eternal reward, which is way better than any title this world can give you. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can take that to the bank, uh, whatever you're watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I, 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 I'm hearing stories of, you know, when people are uh, all in and they're, they're all focused on, on um, you know, what they do, the championship, and you know, being a fighter or you know, being an NFL player or those types of things. But when it's all done, who are you? Yeah, that's you know, what happens after the game. Yeah, yeah. So two two people I met today. One, I was with a guy right now, and tell me about. I didn't want to tell the camera this, that he was talking about his cancer and what was important to him, his family. And then I went to Fan Mart, and the owner there, mm -hmm. I found out who I know. You know, casually going in there from. 20 years mm -hmm. he had a heart attack mm -hmm. and his daughter told me it was from st stress from the church like the this the problems of this mm -hmm. and like I'm hearing all these things and God keeps telling me and telling me family family priorities priorities God this that right yeah so, and so I'm in like I told you earlier mm -hmm. I'm in a reordering like okay what hold on a second if I can come here and do this if I can I gotta spend time with God and then my family you know like my people Make sure that the, and before I go to New Zealand and minister, before I go to whatever, or, you mm -hmm. know, do my church. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so that's just, that's the, what I've been hearing, you know. Yeah. Are you ministering to your family? Mm -hmm. um, you know, my son's mom is just on a good one right now. She's out there in La La Land. Mm -hmm. And I have to pray, you know. That, that, you just have to pray, you know. She lost her father to drugs. Now she's on drugs. Mm -hmm. And. It's just getting like, mm -hmm. but God has strengthened me. But I also know when to step back and say, okay, I need to, I need to recharge the batteries for me, you know. Yeah. Because you don't really know, like in ministry, you know, mm -hmm. you just take on a lie. Well, oh yeah, that guy will just, and then people just like want to call you just to, glory yes. will take care of it. Yes. Okay, what do you, I'm, I know. What can I do? Yeah. Like I'm yeah. with you, but I'm getting these calls all the. And the one, the other thing that yeah. kind of irks me, I'll get like 50 texts why people aren't coming to church. And some of them are valid. Some of them are very invalid. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, bowling. My feet hurt. Uh, no cable. No gas. I'm hungry. I'm tired. Uh, training. It's not raining. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm here. <laughs> what? You know? All that's happened to me, too. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, I'm a human. Like, I got it. Mm -hmm. You know, and there are valid reasons why people miss, but, right. you know, yeah. like, show up, you know? I heard that message, and I was like, I was like... You know, it, it actually kind of made me kind of tear up, actually, when you were talking about that part, because we don't realize we love what we do so much. We love our, our, our God so much. Um, it, it, it's not like a, a it's not like a, a work. It's not like work. You know, it's yeah. not like something that's like, oh, my God, I got to go do this. Right. It's a part of our life. This is a blessing to, for you to invite me. It's a blessing because I get to talk and I got my boy here and we talk and da, da, da. Yeah. Hopefully we're reaching people it's to glorify God. That's what the whole thing is about. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's right. I'm. It's not work. You're right. Yeah, but, 
But yeah. some people can yeah. put their ministry work or whatever, yeah. their status above God. Like, yeah. and it's like, well, yeah. I get the, yeah. well, you yeah. don't get the glory. He does. Yeah. The one who created, that's the ones who gives yeah. it to you. And what was making me kind of tear up and it was, it was, you know, making me emotional was when you were saying that, um, see, what people don't realize about pastors is that we hear the negativity, that is probably all that comes to us. Yeah. And very rare, you know, on some certain occasions, do we start, do we hear the, the, the good testimonies? I wish there was a, I'm going to create it, get praise day. Praise report yeah. Friday. <laughs> praise yeah, report yeah. Friday. I don't want to, don't yeah. call me unless it's a extreme emergency, but yeah. praise report Friday. Matter of yeah. fact, we'll start it to, this next Friday. It's it praise started. report Friday. <laughs> praise Actually, report. praise before Thursday. We'll do it in the beginning of the service. Yeah. Give me some. Give me some good news. Say like some, something good. What did God do? God, come on, He's working in your. You. So we do it at our church. Sometimes I, I'm lazy. And mm -hmm. No, it's not that I'm lazy. Mm -hmm. We do. Okay, Gloria. Mm -hmm. What's a blessing in your life, and what's a thorn? Thorn meaning like what's an ongoing thing you're struggling with, and tell me a blessing. Yeah. Sometimes it's a, you know whatever, and they just we get them everybody up. Oh, that's it, great. Yeah, it's a praise report, and it gets mm -hmm. people used to like um, witnessing, like the, you know, like that. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, we need so, yeah, guys. Praise report. Give us a praise pastors. report. Yeah, get, tell them good stuff. Tell them the good things that are happening in your life. We, we, we don't want to just know the bad stuff. Right, right. <laughs> we want to know the good things too. Baby's born and you're happily married I'm and stuff like you. that, you know? Yeah, give it to me. <laughs> give me all of it, good and the bad. Yeah, it comes. It, it, it comes through pastoring. You get, you get the good and you get the bad. The bad comes first, though. So what I don't want to happen to happen to me is you become numb to tragedy and and, and people saw, oh, man, I'm living in my car. Yeah, yeah, well, well, this guy's got this. But to that person, it's a big deal. Yeah. But if I say, you know, Johnny over here has got one week to live. Yeah, Compare true. your life to him. You're doing good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? But people don't want to hear that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You're living in your car. Go to hospice. Yeah. Go drive. Just sit in the parking lot and feel yeah. the energy. Yeah. You will see the body language of people. You know, like, oh man, mm. you know. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's that's when you know you're starting to get to burnout. When you start getting numb and, you know, you, you're not you know you don't have that passion for yeah each person's individual situation. I want to balance. Like, I want to be healthy. I got to keep my health. You know. Yeah. If I'm not healthy, then then. Yeah. So getting that, so it's a restructuring this year, and, and, and people have to, in their walk too, like, you yeah. can't serve seven days a week, like, yeah. I hear, oh, I'm serving here, I'm serving here, so you can't, you have to, you have to have a Sabbath, you have to be with your family, you, you have to have alone time, you do, many, few people have just quiet time, complete silence, it's hard yeah. for me, I got the TV, got the phone, got this, got the radio, the baby, <laughs> you know, the cars, and my kids got the music, when is there like complete silence? Yeah. And then when you get it, mm -hmm. it's hard because you get like, I feel oh like a God, tweaker. What do I do? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's too quiet, you know. It's mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so true. It's good for you though. It's good. It's good to get out. And the beginning of the churches, it, it's it's like that because it's like taking care of a baby and stuff. No, I'm just I'm just looking at you at that there. <laughs> I don't know if to look at there or you. <laughs> um, hi, I see someone. Oh, it's ask Nelly, Nelly Johnson. Uh, Nella Johnson is cool. She's um, a licensed marriage therapist. Yeah, good. I need her. When I meet somebody, I'm, I want to hit her up. <laughs> yeah. I want to do free counseling, but I don't want another disaster. <laughs> I know. Um, I hear you on that one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so uh, we got a little bit more time. Uh, we want to hear a little bit more um, about you. Um, share whatever you, what do you want to share. What do you want? Uh, I don't know, my life is just a trip. It's a journey. Like, it, is, <laughs> it is, yeah. Yours it is. is. <laughs> like if you, well, if you walk with God, you put your seatbelt on. It's boring. Uh, hallelujah. It's not like that. You, it, When you really apply yourself and you say, okay, God, use me. Yeah. I'm, I'm at the well, fan bar, blah, blah, blah. Boom. Conversation. This guy's yeah. loud too. Wow, we're talking. Yeah. And just, God, okay, where do you want me to go? And mm -hmm. then you're like, okay, cool. Like, it, it, it's a journey, like it's fun, like it's exciting, it's mm -hmm. adventurous. It's like Indiana Jones mm -hmm. at Disneyland, you know, you, the ball's <laughs> coming. And you, oh God, how am I going to pay that bill? Ooh, I got it. Jet come, you know, like it's all that, you know. Definitely. It's dangerous if you like danger. Mm -hmm. There's romance if you mm -hmm. can meet somebody. That's everything, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, it is everything, yeah. Um, 
but like you know, I wasn't. I was a good kid. Mm -hmm. I was in sports, and then I fell apart. Yeah. And I, I just, I bit into the garbage. Yeah. The, the lies of the devil. The lies. The lies of the devil. And I was like, I'm all out for this guy, mm -hmm. and I didn't even know it. Yeah. Well, you want to? By the way, when you're like tense and tough, like, you know, if you were that guy, that you have to be that all the time, and it's real stressful. And it's like, yeah, well, well. And, and then eventually you're going to meet another alpha, like, that's nuttier than you, you know? And you're like, oh, wait yeah. a minute. Who well, has nothing to lose, and you know, like, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we're guys, we want to be tough, like, but mm -hmm. fast forward your life to 50, 60, 70. Mm -hmm. You're taking your medicine, mm -hmm. <laughs> you want a meal, and you want a bed to sleep in, and you want to be by your family, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And, that, totally. and that's the reality of like, could could I have told you I would be here with you? Mm -hmm. But back then, no, you know, mm -hmm. I was lost. Just, mm -hmm. And so people are savage right now, you know, just uh, out there like what you know. And then you add chemicals to that too, like yeah. And then they're doing like the weirdest things, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And but God tells us to pray for them, mm -hmm. and it's hard, especially if somebody's hurt you. Mm -hmm. You have to pray for them. And the thing that helps me with that is the Bible says, the amount of forgiveness that you give, I'm going to give you. Right. Whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. I need a lot of forgiving. Yeah. And I get it. Like, there are some really tragic things that happen to people. Mm -hmm. And it's a process for some. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not just like, hey, Gloria, I know you, whatever, I forgive you. Some people can do it. Mm -hmm. You see somebody get murdered, the family, and the guy goes, the family goes, I forgive that person. Yeah. But for others, you know, there's, there's just some really tragic stuff, and it's a progressive thing. God, I, I want to yeah. forgive this person. Help me. It's this is, yeah. But they took my son or this, my or this, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's hard, you know. Mm -hmm. It's hard, but uh, I don't know. It's, it sounds repetitive, but it's a real. It's re I can't tell you like it's like the Holy Spirit filling me. Like it's real. Like it's mm -hmm. in my body. It's flowing through me mm -hmm. as the anger used to flow. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is telling me, go tell these people, because I might not have another opportunity. So we, we keep t telling everybody. Mm -hmm. And then the Bible also says, mm -hmm. you'll be without, like, excuse. Mm -hmm. Like, you watched Gloria's show with the weird tattooed guy. <laughs> you went to church 15 times. You went to The Rock. You went to the Bible study. Like, what's mm -hmm. your excuse? Mm -hmm. Especially in America with phones and apps and this and that. Yeah, yeah. You cannot hide and say, well, I didn't know. Mm -mm. Here's what I want to ask you. Um, do you have any regrets? What would be one of your regrets? <laughs> ah, <laughs> reg yeah, of course. Everybody has yeah. regrets. Yeah, everybody has regrets. You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there are a lot. Of, yeah, there's a lot of really good opportunities. I could have been a football player. I had met some really beautiful yeah. women in my life that were like, you know, like some of them remarried. I'm like, dang. You know, Mr. like, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, this one's like super wealthy, doing really great. I'm like, oh. Oh, no, but, you know, um, yeah, there are regrets. Mm -hmm. um, but I think all that stuff got me to where I'm at. Yeah. Would I have done it differently? Would I have deleted some stuff? Of course. Mm -hmm. The way I treated my parents, myself, you know. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, too, is like you can't expect people to love others, mm -hmm. you know, that... They don't love themselves. So first, you say, God, and God says, I love you. Yeah. I got you. Mm -hmm. I forgive you. Forgive yourself. Okay, now I'm okay. Yeah. Feeling better. Now I can love on you and forgive you. But mm -hmm. somebody that's cold-hearted, how can they forgive you? Yeah. Yeah. How can they love themselves? I want to kill myself. I want this. I want drugs. Mm -hmm. When you're doing all of that, you're not loving yourself. You're mm -hmm. saying, I'm not worthy. Mm -hmm. So that, that's what I'm saying. You know, but, what is To you, what's loving yourself? Find that God has worth in us. Yeah. You're created, we're created in the image of God. What does that mean? Like, He has a purpose for us. Yeah. And when you find your purpose, everyone's looking for, you know that song by U2? I still haven't found what yes. I'm looking for. Yeah. That's, yeah, we were going to play it at our, our church because The Rock played it, but our guy said no, but it's finding purpose. What are we here for? Mm -hmm. And then God says, okay, I have a purpose for you. I have a plan. If yeah. you follow it, yeah. I'm going to be, Nice and smooth, but mm -hmm. you know, yeah, taking care of our temple, our body, our health, your health, just all that stuff. You, know, and, and then what you, you do jujitsu, jiu right? Well, you know, well, I did a few things. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, 
old saying. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm 50 years old. I started when I'm 50. Oh my God, I'm a blue belt right now. I, I, yeah, oh yeah. Shout out to 99 Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. Eduardo mm-hmm. Tellis, mm-hmm. Uh, Pichalinga, and Paulino, mm-hmm. all the instructors there, great guys, and all the 99 guys. Uh-huh. And it's helped me. It's helped me health wise. It's helped me to relax. It's helped me to. You know, case you know, uh, defend myself. Mm-hmm. But that's the purpose for for me is to, for calmness. I sleep well. It's good camaraderie, and uh, mm-hmm. I like it a lot. It's very. It's you should try it. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. We have women in there too. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. They get down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of all. I'm scared of all the rolling around. Man. I know. I know. It's a little intimidating, but you you know you just kind of like it, and you're walking faith. It's like you start out. You don't know what you're doing. You don't have to put the belt on. You put the jacket on backwards. The gi. You know, you're sweating. You're like, oh, I can't do this. <laughs> Here I am a year later. Now I'm a blue belt. Oh, wait a minute. White, blue, purple, brown, black. Mm-hmm. Well, every black belt started as a white belt. True, that's yeah. true. So. Good stuff right there. That's good stuff. Good, throwing out all those good gold nuggets, Taz. Gold, is that like a shout out or a gold nugget? What is yeah, that? that's oh. like good. Uh, good yeah, and to my sponsors, <laughs> uh, USC <laughs> Trojans, uh, to uh, my boy Yogi Berto, <laughs> Foundation Church, uh, Miles McPherson, Tommy Mosley, all the guys that helped me along the way. All the guys that came to prison to teach me about the Bible. All the guys in the county jail who picked me up after I got out. Uh, and, you know, my mom, my family who stuck by me even though I was a, just a, uh, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. In Italian we say stunad, stupido, like dummy, like just living the wrong life, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know who showed me a lot of love? My mom. Your mom? My dad was like, whoo, whoo, got ducked. <laughs> my mom was like, you know, she just kept loving me. Mm-hmm. I don't, that's not what I want for you. And mm-hmm. that's what God does. He just kept showing me grace. Yeah, she was angry, like but that. she just yep. kept showing me love. Moms love their sons, that's for oh sure. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, she's, she, she, she's a soldier. Awesome. She's a soldier. That's good. that's good. It's been so great having you. We still got some more time if you want to keep talking. But I, yeah, we got we got Yogi here in the house. Yeah, um, Yogi. You know, Yogi's got the questions, he's got the cue cards. <laughs> My boy Yogi, he's a good dude. Look for him at Foundation Church. He's a good guy. He's a soldier. Yeah. You he single? Does. Are you single, Yogi? I am. I am. It's a, I'm, I'm in a. It's a. It's a. It's a weird relationship. I'm. I'm still married, mm-hmm. but we're separated. We've been separated, so it's like. Uh, but I am single. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm not really looking right now though, cause I gotta still. I'm working on my relationship with God first. So. Okay. Like I went ask, to the ask, ask Nelly. She's gonna get you on that one, cause she's like, oh no, if he ain't, ma- if he's still married, he ain't single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she Nelly. Book, you Nelly, yeah. book an appointment with him, and then yeah, book me right I after. I, I guess I'm, I'm married. That's why. That's why I mean, I don't even. I don't date or nothing. Like I, I just yeah. went to the movies right now by myself. I went yeah. to go watch a movie. Like. like I came back. Which I'm okay. And that's with why that. I'm inviting him down here, like, because oh, I knew he was yeah. in this area. I'm like, hey, just yeah. for one hour, like, we're. Yeah. I don't know if he's getting anything out of this, but like, you're yeah. at least around fellowship and people. Yeah, you know? definitely. Like, I don't know. Maybe he was home watching TV or something. Yeah, yeah. This is good. So you guys, I always tell you that I, I love the before and after conversations and stuff with with people, and um, you know, when before when we were off camera, uh, Taz was telling me, you know, some other stuff that. Uh, you know, he was in the hospital visiting people. He was praying with people. A um, lot of tra- tragedy going on in, in, in lives and, you know, with, with, you know, situations in people's lives and stuff. And it's never ending for, you know, someone who loves, you know, to, to help people out, you know. Somebody who's walking with, the, with Christ. Um, you have the answer to what people are looking for. Now we're not God, so we can't like always be that that person. Um, we, we can't like think that we're God and you know every, meet everybody's needs because it's just, just impossible. Right. There has to be a set apart time that we that we're like you said we got to get to you know our our priorities in order, like w- what you're doing, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, I I also am around like zillions of family. I live in Logan Heights, and like there the, we own the whole block, you know. Uh, and, and my sister's house is like the house to go to, and zillions of nep- nieces and nephews, and you know, like it's just like, you know. And I'm the kind of person that likes to to 
get a little bit of nature and you know walk yeah. my dog on the beach. I'm about and... ready to get a wig. I want to get a peluca. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a little, little tilted brim. Yeah, toupee and just kind of <laughs> off to the side here. No, but uh, you know, yeah, but you know, it's just, that's one day at a time. That's all. Yeah, one day and that's what I told time. the guy tonight mm -hmm. that I was talking to about. It. He's talking about cancer, chemo, and. Brother, like we're all on the same path, you know. Like nobody's guaranteed tomorrow, nobody. No. Yeah. And I said, just you know, and he says, yeah. as, as he was tearing up, this is a fifty-something-year-old man. Mm -hmm. That you know, just keep living life. This, but you know, one day at a time. We take it one day at a time. God's in control. He got you. Yeah. You know, let go of it. Just wheel, and you're co-piloting, and all you got to do is say, God, are we good? Yeah, you're good. Well, we landed. Yeah, we landed. Good. And, you know, and then just. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy life. Make the most of it. Life is short. Make the most of it. Yeah, totally. So in, in ending, uh, Taz, what would be the very last thing that you would want to say to end with? Um, what, what would be something that... There's a couple things. One, I want to hire you as my agent. <laughs> you keep calling me a celebrity, a movie star. <laughs> Get that on the record. Uh, no. Um, that put your faith in Jesus Christ. That's the only hope we have. If you take God out of the equation, mm -hmm. what hope do we have? Yeah. What, what do you have? Yeah. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Then it's money, this, then go make as much money, do it as dirty as possible, sleep around, do drugs, do all this stuff, and just live it up because then it's an eternal, like, it doesn't matter if you believe in hell or heaven. It's going down. There is God. He's a real God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you can deny it all you want. Mm -hmm. We're all going to face a judgment day. When is that day? We don't know. And so for our job as Christians is to live it out mm -hmm. and then reach people as disciples. Say, hey, brother, sister, brother, I went through it. This is my testimony. This is my own life. Yours is different. Mm -hmm. but you're going to be able to reach people. I can. Mm -hmm. Gloria can reach people. Jose can reach people. I can reach people. But as a common core of the body of Christ, and then we assemble together, mm -hmm. and we talk about our plays, we get the sermon, we get fed, we get lifted. Mm -hmm. And then imagine if the church starts to dwindle, three people, four people, two, one, it's just like you, me and you. Yeah. And, but you ever hear worship when the whole church is doing it, and then the band cuts it out, and it's just the, the, the congregation, it's well, man, it's like it's wow. powerful. Powerful. God is powerful. God is loving. God is mercy. But there's a day of judgment coming. Mm -hmm. and a lot of churches don't preach that. You got to slide. Yeah, God, come as you are. He's mm -hmm. going to meet you where you are, but he's mm -hmm. going to change you. Mm -hmm. He's going to change your heart. You're not going to want to do that stuff. Mm -hmm. and so that, put your trust in Jesus Christ. That's the, the whole, if I can say one thing, that's it. And get right with God. Amen. And enjoy your life. Make the best of every day. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I think people say... It was, in the, it was in the hospital, actually. It said mm -hmm. most people's regrets are for things that they didn't do, not things that they did. Yeah. And that's powerful. I should have went here. I should have went to Glorious. I should have spent mm -hmm. more time with that. I should have spent more time with my family. I should have called my mom. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So that's, that's it. That's a wrap. All right. Thanks. That's a good note to end on. Thank you so much for yeah, coming. Yeah, I really welcome. appreciate yeah. it. Right. You're awesome. So with that said, you guys, remember... Go visit uh, Foundation Church. You got um, uh, Chris Cyborg is going to go visit the this church. This Thursday, uh, January 17th, 6 to 8 p.m., First Presbyterian Church, 320 Date Street. Please show up. Uh, she's a great person, great uh, testimony, and free pizza from Milo's. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Peace out, you guys. Peace. Bye.